It's rarely a slow week. <laughs> I mean, in the world as well. Yeah, it does. I mean, any given week, I mean, it just seems like the things get nuttier. It, it do, it's definitely a simulation. We've agreed on this at this point. I mean, like, well, if, look, if, if we are in some alien Netflix series, I think the ratings are high. Yes, <laughs> the ratings are high. Um, how are the, um, uh, the, the freedom of speech wars going? Um, this is a, uh, we, you've, been, you've been at war for two years now. Yes. Uh, the price of freedom of speech is not cheap, is it? I think it's like 44 billion, something like that. <laughs> Just <laughs> round numbers. Give or, give or take a billion? Yeah, round numbers. Yeah. yeah. Um, it's, uh, it's, it's pretty nutty. There, there, there is like this weird movement to uh, quell free speech uh, kind of around the world. And, um, and this is something we should be very concerned about. Uh, you know, you have to ask, like, why was the First Amendment like a high priority, you know, it was like number one. Um, one. It's because uh, people came from countries where if you spoke freely, you would be imprisoned or killed. And they were like, well, we, we'd like to not have that here. Because um, that was terrible. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> and, and actually, you know, there's a lot of places in the world right now, if, you, if you're critical of the government, uh, you get imprisoned or killed. Right. Um, yeah, we'd like to not have that. And, are you, you know, concerned? Can I, can I add to that? <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah. I mean, I, I suspect this is a receptive yeah. audience to that message. Yeah. Um, <laughs> but, you know, I, th I think we always thought that the West was the exception to that, that we knew there were authoritarian places around the world, but we thought that in the West we'd have freedom of speech. And we've seen, like you said, a, it seems like a global movement. In Britain, you've got... Uh, teenagers being put in prison for memes, uh, yes. opposing. Uh, <laughs> it's like you like to you like to Facebook post, <laughs> throw them in the prison. Yeah, <laughs> it's, it's, it's like, like people have got an actual you know prison t for for like like obscure comments on social media. Not even shit posting yet. Like it's, not even. Yeah, it's crazy. This is like Pavel got thrown in prison. Right. You've got recently. And I'm like that. Is so <laughs> about that. I was like, what is the massive crime that? Right. Pavel in France, and then of course we got Brazil with Judge Voldemort. <laughs> that, that one seems like the one that impacts you the most. Can you, what's the latest on that? Well, we, I guess we're, we are trying to figure out, uh, is there some, some reasonable solution in Brazil? Uh, the, you know, the concern, uh, I mean, I want to just make sure that this is framed correctly. Um, and uh, you know, funny memes aside, uh, the, the 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 nature of the concern was that, uh, at least at at X Corp, we had the perception that uh, we were being asked to do things that violated Brazilian law. So, uh, obviously, we cannot, as an American company, impose American laws and values on on other countries. Um, that uh, you know, we wouldn't get very far if we did that. Um, but, but we do, you know, think that uh, if, if a country's law, laws are a particular way and we're being asked to, what we, we, think, we think we're being asked to break them then, and, and be silent about it, then obviously that is no good. Mm -hmm. so, so I just want to be clear, because this sometimes, it sometimes comes across as uh, Elon's trying to just be a crazy, whatever, billionaire and demand outrageous things from other countries. And, um, you know, while that is true, uh, <laughs> um, in addition, there are um, other things uh, th that, that I think are, you know, valid, which is like, we, we, we obviously can't, uh, you, you know, I think any given thing that we do at X Corp, we've got to be able to explain in the light of day and, and not feel that it was, Dishonorable, or you know, we 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 did the wrong thing, you know. Uh, so we don't. We, we, that 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 was the that that's the nature of the concern. So we actually are in uh, sort of discussions with uh, the uh, you know judicial authorities in, in Brazil to try to you know run this to ground. Like, uh, what what's actually going on? Like, if if we're being asked to break the law. 
Brazilian law, then that's, that, that obviously should not be, should, should not sit well with the Brazilian judiciary. And if we're not and we're mistaken, we'd like to understand how we are mistaken. I think that's a, that's a pretty reasonable uh, position. I'm a bit concerned, as your friend, that you're going to go to one of these countries and I'm going to wake up one day and you're going to get arrested and like, I'm going to have to go bail you out or something. Like, this is, feels very <laughs> acute. Like, yes. I mean, it's not a joke now. Like, they're literally yeah. saying, like, w you know, it's not just Biden saying, like, we have to look into that guy. Now it's become quite literal. Like, this, I don't who was the guy who just wrote the, um, was it the Guardian piece about, like, Oh, hey, yeah, yeah. The, 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 there have been three articles in, I think, in the past three weeks. Robert Reich. So, but, yeah. but it wasn't just him. It was like yeah. three, then, three different articles. Three different articles. Yeah. <laughs> it doesn't. That's a trend. <laughs> that, calling for me to be imprisoned right. in the, in the Guardian, you know, <laughs> Guardian of what? They're, what are they protecting exactly? Yeah. Uh, guardian of I don't know. Um, authoritarianism. Uh, yeah. Guardian of uh, yeah. Yeah. Censorship. Censorship. But, I mean, but the premise here is that you bought this thing, this online forum, this communication platform, and you're allowing people to use it to express themselves, therefore yes. you have to be jailed. I don't understand the logic here. Right. Um, there's, what do you think they're actually afraid of at this point? What's the motivation well, here? I mean, I think the, the, if, somebody's afraid, if somebody's sort of trying to push a false premise on the world, then, and, then that, that, and that premise can be undermined, with public dialogue, then they will be opposed to public dialogue on that premise because they wish that false premise to prevail. Right. Um, so that's, I think, you know, the, the, the issue there is uh, if they don't like the truth, uh, you know, then we want to suppress it. So now, the, you know, the, the, the sort of, the, what, what we're trying to do with X Corp uh, is, uh, I distinguish that from my son who's also called X. Yes. Uh, <laughs> right. you, have, you have parental goals, it's, it's, and then you have goals called, for the Everything's just called X, basically. Yes. It's, it's very difficult, this the ambiguation. The car, the sun. Yeah, it's X everything. Yeah. Um, so uh, what, we're, we're, what we're trying to do is simply adhere to the, uh, you know, the, the laws in a, in a country. Um, so, so if something is illegal in the United States, or if it's illegal in you know, Europe, or Brazil, or, or wherever it might be, uh, then, then we will take it down or we'll suspend the account because we, we're not, you know, there to make the laws. We, but, but, but if speech is not illegal, then, then what are we doing? Okay, now we're injecting ourselves in as, as a censor, and, and where does it stop? And who decides? So, and where, where does that path lead? I think it leads to a bad place. Uh, so, if, if the people, if, in a country want the laws to be different, they should make the laws different. But otherwise, we're gonna obey the law in each jurisdiction. Right, and some of these European- That's, that's it, it's, it's not more complicated than that. We're not, we're not trying to flout the law, I'm gonna be clear about that. We're, 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 we're trying to adhere to the law, and if the laws change, we will change, and if, if the laws don't change, we, we won't. We're just literally trying to adhere to the law. It's pretty, pretty straightforward. There are yes, some it's European, very straightforward. Some and, and if, if somebody doesn't, thinks we're not adhering to the law, well, they can file a lawsuit. 